What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Resno, and we are out here early today at this grand opening hosted by Garage and Gearheads, and they are doing a special unveiling today. They are unveiling a Ford GT Mark IV race car. Only 67 worldwide will be produced, and only four have been to delivered so far. So, and starting off, you know we have this beautiful 350R right there, a nice 5.0 coming through, and look at this nice carbon series for GT as well. And if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by the channel, man. Next up right here, we have a very beautiful 488 coming in. If you know the name of this color, let me know down below in the comments, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. I do love the way the black and gold stripe is going down the top of the car it's very beautiful nice wheels of course matching the stripe in the middle and these are some fat exhaust tips too man so as y'all can see there is tons of gt350s pulling in there's another one pulling in that we did miss coming past and there's another one behind me very beautiful though nice wing as well apr performance wing this, this car is, is one of a kind, it's one out of what, 67 that's going to be made, but only 10 have been delivered in the United States, so actually it's one out of 10 right now. Uh, this is Lee Tillman, uh, the owner of the, the car. Very, very special car we'll let him talk a little bit about it and, and tell you why this car is so special and uh, turn it over to uh, well, thank you, Ross, and thanks to the Garage of Texas team for, for hosting today. I really, really appreciate it. It's always great to see a bunch of car lovers out as well, but I thought it would be useful maybe just to give you a little bit of history on why the Ford GT Mark IV is so important. I think most of you all know kind of the Ford versus Ferrari story. 1966, uh, Ford went to Milan. They finished first, second, and third. That car was the Mark II Ford GT at the time. Shortly after they won first, second, and third, Ford started developing the next generation of the Ford GT, getting ready for the 1967 Le Mans race. That car was originally called the J car, but unfortunately that's also the car that Ken Miles lost his life in. Uh, that car ultimately became the Ford GT Mark IV that went on to win Le Mans in 1967, hence why they're building 67 cars to commemorate that. But importantly, in 1967, it was an American car, a Ford that won, but it was also driven by two American drivers, Dan Gurney and A.J. Foyt. And there's two very interesting stories about those two individuals when, when they went. First of all, Dan Gurney was a very tall guy for a racing driver. And there's an infamous story that he couldn't get in the car, and so they had to put a bubble in the roof for him. And it's henceforth always been called the Gurney Bubble. For A.J. Foy, he was so excited when they won in 1967, he grabbed a bottle of champagne, shook it up vigorously, and sprayed down it. And that started the same tradition now that you see in like all Formula One races today. So a lot of history around the Mark Ford car. So let's fast forward now. Well, this is the, the street car. This car was built from after they won Le Mans in 2016, Ford came back 50 years later from 1966 and finished, unfortunately not their second and third, they finished first and third, they were split by Ferrari. But this car they built on the basis of the 2016 Le Mans car. And they built 1,350 of these cars. Uh, it took them five years to do it at Multimatic. But now as they started thinking about finishing the run of Ford GTs, at least this more modern run of Ford GTs, they decided, well, how do we finish up with a really special car? That's right. And that's what produced the Mark IV. So they're building 67 of these cars. Um, they were allocated to a handful of really lucky owners, and I was blessed to get one. Uh, I just took delivery of this car at a track event at Circa the Americas, the Formula One track. And all I will tell you is it is one phenomenal car on the track. Uh, this car has, um, first of all, the car is about 17 feet long because of all the aero on it. So splitters, uh, diffusers, rear wing, you'll see it when we pull the covers off. But at 150 miles an hour, this car is generating about 2,400 pounds of downforce. So almost the weight of the car. 
Uh, top end on the car is about 195 miles an hour. We saw about 180 miles an hour on the back straight at Coda, and we're pulling up to three Gs in the corners and in the braking zones. So it's a think of it as a Le Mans prototype car, but with no rules. Uh, the car has uh, an active suspension system. Multimatic is like the preeminent provider of suspension for motorsports. It's something called adaptive spool valve system. It's an active system that continually adjusts while you're on the track. It has a modified 3.8 liter twin turbo V6. This street car has a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 making 660 horsepower. This car's motor has three power maps starting at 500 miles and 500 horsepower for short tracks, 700 for a little bit longer, and then maximum 800 plus horsepower at the highest power map. Has carbon carbon brakes. Uh, it has a X track sequential manual gearbox with a, essentially an electronic clutch. Uh, but it is a absolutely phenomenal car. Uh, my car, my Mark IV, is actually painted in the same custom silver color as my street car. So they're not exactly twins, but they're at least siblings. And uh, so anyway, with that, if we're ready, without further ado, we'll, uh, we'll pull the wraps up. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Z01 right here. This thing is sexy, man. Look at that. You already know blue my favorite color. Look at the carbon fiber wing on it. Oh my lord. This thing is gorgeous. Make sure y'all check out KRC Auto right there on the ground, man. Dope photographer as well, man. Look at that. Beautiful car. It's a very beautiful Mustang Dark Horse right here, man. Look at the color on this. You can actually see the color popping the way the sun is bouncing off of it like look at that man oh my god nice brake calibers as well from one angle you see a little bit of orange inside of it but that's very beautiful though and as my boy cool exotics and more right there has pointed out those are Boston wheels of course I did not notice that at first until he pointed that out you know so let's take a closer look at that beautiful logo on it let me know what you guys think about that Mustang Dark Horse down below in the comments. Honestly, I'm a fan of it, you know? When it first came out, I really wasn't digging it, but as I've seen a lot of different specs in person, I do love it. Y'all, excuse the music, but a McLaren 750S has pulled in with the bucket seats, of course. Look at that, man. That's, that, that's crazy. With carbon fiber on top of the hood in this beautiful blue color, this carbon fiber wing on the back is just insane and look at the exhaust tips you know because the first 750s we've seen actually was the prototype version in ohio as well you know so let me know what you guys think about this spec right here i do love these seats man let's take another look at these seats man that thing is gorgeous and next up is this very nice cobra look at that i do love the green paint job on it look at how the sun is just popping off of it, y'all and then behind me is some more vipers nice yellow on it i do love the black on this one with the chrome wheels and the red calibers yeah man this event is crazy you know a lot of nice cars pulling in you do have the scat pack in back right there you know so let me know what you guys think about this blue viper right here with this white stripe going down the middle of it man that thing is absolutely gorgeous i love vipers Y'all, we have a beautiful lineup of, of GTRs pulling that, man. Look at this. This thing is gorgeous. That silver one is nice as well. Do little wheels on that. And it does have some very sexy exhaust tips on it, man. This event is turning out pretty nice. Let's take a look at this white one over here that has pulled in as well. Next to this nice Toyota Supra. <laughs> look at that. ADV1 wheels on top of it too. That's 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 gorgeous. Ooh, and look at the wheels on the back, man. Dang. 
Let's hear it, man. Which one sound better, y'all? The Z06s or the GT350, man? But y'all, so that's the grand opening. There is a beautiful 918 spotter rolling out right now. If y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for stopping by.